For most shops, most of the time, when you're clamping a raw chunk of stock in your manual vise, you aren't super worried about the exact amount of clamping force the vise is exerting on the workpiece. Probably because we get accustomed to tightening a certain amount and not having the parts fly out of the jaws during cutting. But there are those times when it would be nice to know just how much clamping force we're getting. Maybe I've got a thin wall part where I'm worried about deformation from too much jaw pressure. Or at the other end of the scale, maybe I've got a part that wants to pull out of the jaws when I'm cutting heavily with a high helix end mill. In these situations, it would be great to quantify how much actual clamping force is being exerted by the vise. And that's where this handy tool comes into play. This is our clamp force gauge, and it's basically a compact hydraulic load cell for measuring how much force you're getting out of the handle right here. This bracket on the bottom bridges the gap over the vise screw, so you can center it up on the vise jaws. Drop it into place, and you're ready to go. With the regular vise handle, I can generate about 3,000 pounds of force on this vise before things start getting difficult. But let's say I need 4,000 pounds of gripping force. Then I can grab this larger torque wrench and check what torque that equates to. In this case, on this wrench, it's about 47 foot pounds. Now I can generate the necessary force easily and repeatably. The gauge gives me an easy way to quantify how much force is enough. One thing to keep in mind, if you're trying to dial in a low jaw force value, you should probably use a low range torque wrench. This 150 foot pound capacity wrench gives me 800 pounds of force at 10 foot pounds, while this 240 inch pound capacity wrench gives me about 550 pounds of force at 10 foot pounds. Lots of shops are using this kind of tool to index a torque value to a specific amount of vice force. And this can be quite helpful when you're training a new hire on what the correct amount of force feels like for different parts. But you can use this to measure many other kinds of loads. Besides vice force, customer reviews speak to checking die set pressures and verifying pressure on resistance welder setups. Really, anywhere you need to measure compressive forces in a small form factor, this tool can likely be of benefit. And this gauge does a similar job to a digital load cell setup, but it's a lot less expensive than a typical strain gauge load cell plus the digital readout, and its smaller form factor fits into tighter places, and since it's not powered, it's quick to deploy. So, a great alternative if you don't need all the extra functions of that kind of a setup. Now, just using a torque wrench to control vice force on your critical parts improves consistency hugely. And most shops are probably already taking this step. In these cases, this gauge can act more as a troubleshooting tool. Is there grit on the vice screw or binding in the jaw motion that is subtracting grip force from the setup? You may not see this, just checking torque. And what about fixturing that uses hydraulic or pneumatic force? These are clamping devices you can't check with a torque wrench. Here, this gauge is another tool in your arsenal to double check your more difficult setups. So, if you've got circumstances where you need to be more certain of how much force is being generated by your vise or other clamping devices, then check out the clamp force gauge at haastooling.com. And thanks for watching.